Samsung officially launched the Galaxy A54 5G smartphone on March 15, which comes with 10 flagship-grade camera features. In a recent development, Dexomark revealed camera scores of Samsung Galaxy A54 and listed 84th in the global ranking and 9th in the high-end ranking. According to testers at Dexomark, the camera scores of Samsung Galaxy A54 arrived through their rigorous test suite to measure its performance in photo, video, and zoom quality from an end-user perspective. And seeing the overall review, Denexo Mark camera scores may disappoint Galaxy F54 buyers. The testers accept that the Galaxy F54 camera delivers good exposure and wide dynamic range in bright light and indoors. In landscape shots, the device offers decent detail and accurate and repeatable autofocus in most conditions. On the flip side, they found some cons such as exposure and white balance instabilities, focus errors in macro mode and scenes with moving elements, unwanted artifacts including halo effects, gossing and color quantization in high contrast scenes and unmoving subjects and delay between autofocus lock and capture. Talking about global competitors, the Galaxy A54 ranks 84th with less score than the Xiaomi 11T Pro and others. In the high-end category, Samsung's 2023 Premium Midranger ranks 9th with rivals like Nothing Phone 1, Oppo Reno 8, and Xiaomi 12 Lite in 6th, 7th, and 8th rank, respectively. The Samsung Galaxy A54 5G delivered an average performance for a device in the high-end segment in DxO Mark camera tests. Still, images were well exposed in good light without too much contrast making the Samsung a decent option for landscape photography. However, Gexomark testers notice white balance and exposure instabilities across consecutive shots, as well as a range of unwanted image artifacts, including gaussing and halo effects. Slow autofocus and low light was an additional limiting factor, making it difficult to react quickly and capture moving subjects. Samsung's new Galaxy A54 smartphone comes with a 50-megapixel primary camera with f1.8 aperture, PDAF, and optical image stabilization. The ultra-wide camera brings 12-megapixel resolution, 123 at field of view, and f2.2 aperture. The third, macro, sensor has a 5-megapixel resolution with f2.4 aperture. If you enjoyed the video, subscribing to the channel would be greatly appreciated. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.